The next couple tutorials will be all about compression and Logic has a great compressor that you can actually use in all kinds of situations. But before we start that, I think it's important to make clear what the difference is between two types of compression, RMS compression and peak compression. And both of these have their own uses. Let's go to our nasty loop. Well, it's not so nasty anymore because we fixed that with uh, surgical EQing. And I'll add a compressor here. And this is how it opens by default. And right at the bottom here, you can see two different modes, RMS and peak. And depending on the situation or the effect you want to achieve, you choose either one. See, the difference between RMS and peak is the way the compressor looks at the incoming audio. RMS looks at the average level of your audio and responds to that, while peak compression is actually looking at the peaks in your audio. For instance, in our case, a kick drum. Compressor will react differently to the peaks of a kick drum than the average level of the audio. Does that make any sense? So if you want your audio to pump a little, you would use peak compression, while RMS is a lot more forgiving and it doesn't affect the audio as much as peak compression does. So let's say if you only want to raise the level of your audio a bit, you could use RMS compression better than peak compression. Because in general, that squashes the audio a bit more and brings out the energy, while RMS doesn't tend to do that as much. So let's just go ahead and play this loop and I'll tell you at certain points what to listen for so you can get a better feel for the differences between RMS and peak. Here we go. Just put this to zero dB. So that's gain reduction of four dB more or less, and it still sounds nice and open, relaxed almost. Let's do this again, and midway I will change to peak mode, so you will hear the difference in the density of the sound, the hype, the energy, that kind of stuff. That's what you need to pay attention to. Because in peak, like I said, the compressor will respond mostly to these big peaks of the bass drum, which will have a different impact on the sound. So here we go. This is clearly more hype. And this is more open. Now pull down the threshold a bit more. And the difference will be a lot more dramatic if I pull down the attack time to zero milliseconds. Here we go again. Peaks are still coming through. And that was the difference. In peak mode, the compressor reacts way more to these big peaks of our bass drum. And that gives a totally different character. Let's try it again. So I guess that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Don't think that needs any more explanation. Except for maybe that if you want to hype up your sound, bring out the energy, control the peaks, this is what you use peak compression for. And RMS is a lot more forgiving and you tend to use that in mastering if you just need to raise the level of a sound or a signal. RMS is the way to go. So that's the difference between RMS compression, peak compression, and the Logic Compressor does it both.